Hey guys, how you doing? Feel like going camping? We found this spot. Check this one out, ready? We are up on top of a mountain. We're gonna do a little classic tent camping tonight. So if you guys are into that sort of thing, hang out with us. We're gonna enjoy the beautiful wilderness and do what we do. We got some good food to cook. We got some special beer to drink and yeah. Check it this out. That's right, as you can tell, we busted out a big tent. This sucker is about 10 feet by 10 feet. What you guys wanna see? Want to show you around here. Hey, hey Terry. Terry's already figured it out. We got plenty of room in here. Got my cot set up down here. Be able to check out the stars. Oh, oh look. We'll be able to check out Wally. Yeah. I don't know about you guys. But I'm getting thirsty. I think it's time for a beer. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody, while we're waiting for the sun to get completely down, Wally want a beer? Wally doesn't drink beer. Cheers. Oh man, that's exactly what we needed. So, thank you everybody for tuning back in. If you've never been here before, my name is Ryan. My dog's name is Wally. My other dog's name is Harry. It was in the green tent. We haven't slept in a tent in a long time and I have, I still have my old beater, old little green tent, always in the truck. But I got this one um, uh, as a gift a while ago for Christmas. I have a bunch of tents. I kind of like it, it's huge. It's a Tajma tent. But the reason why I came up camping today, well, besides I really like to come up and go camping and just it gives me something to do. It gives the dog something to do. I like to go around and take pictures of things and just kind of sniff around. But tonight is a full moon and it's one of those super moons and blue moons. And I didn't show it to you because, well, practically I didn't want to bore you to death, but I left my house at like 1.30 and I didn't get here till 7.30. So for the past, whatever the math is, I've been four wheeling my truck all up and down these fire roads way back in the interior of the place i like to go i did a little bit of footage of it but i didn't want to i didn't want to do it all because i wanted to get to kind of an exposure of when the moon pops up i couldn't find anything that wasn't on like a crazy steep bowl hill and there's a few other spots that i just don't like because they're just i don't know there's hatchet marks in trees and they're just well used well-known campsites and i like to stay in other things hey what's up hi wally I got Wally a bag of treats and he knows where it's in the truck and he wants one really bad. Harry hasn't heard that. Whew. Okay. You guys getting hungry? No sign of the full moon yet. But I figure since I'm tent camping, but you guys are tent camping along with me. I decided I would bring a different kind of beer. What? I know. I saw it in the I saw it in the uh, in the store, and I was like, "Ah, oh, dude, I haven't had one of these in a while." So since we have a giant Taj tent and we're all bougie tent camping right now, waiting for the full moon, let's enjoy a little bit of the high life. That's right. Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Look at this frosty thing. Look at this. Does the light even do this justice? Huh? Look at this. Oh, they're gonna, ooh. Look how frosty cold this looks. Beer. Okay, and in my youth, <laughs> back in the day, 40s were all over the place. You don't see them too much anymore. And this definitely, Oh, this ain't even a 40, it's a 32. Anyway, let's see what the high life tastes like. And I was hoping I could find like a regular old brown paper bag because we used to put these in brown paper bags all the time, but I couldn't. But I did find a Jimmy John's. So we're gonna put a high life in a Jimmy. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm so used to it. And for those of you that know me, and I don't know if you guys will like this too or not, but I enjoy a nice, light beer. I'm not into the IPAs. I, I appreciate IPAs. I appreciate all different types of beer. My, one of my 
my big my one of my like kind of my big favorites right now is when I go out to different breweries when I do I don't get out much I go camping but there's a lot of breweries around here anyway is uh, I like trying different kinds of sours that's my thing but anything that's like really hoppy I'm not a big fan of but anyway here's to the high life here's to you and if you guys is, are sticking around right now hey do me a favor hit that subscribe button. We're moving up in the subscribers and I'm super excited about it. But thanks for everybody that helps clean up all the public lands. I know there's a lot of you out there that give me a lot of good props for when I'm picking up garbage and doing things like that. And I'm gonna keep it up and we're just gonna do that for the rest of my life as long as we have to. Right, Harry? You cool with that? Okay, so anyway, here's to the highlight. Oh yeah. That's delicious. That's good stuff right there, man. Beep. How's up? What does the Miller song go? Miller's made the American way. Born and brewed in the USA. We're proud to the people who are making it today. Miller's made the American way. That's what happens when you're brought up by the television. You guys know. A lot of people that are my age or my caliber were latchkey kids, or we were latchkey kids. For those of you guys that are tuning in that don't know what a latchkey kid is, that is when you were in elementary school and your mom or your dad or your parents or whoever was watching you, your grandparents, step-parents, whatever, um, they, didn't, they couldn't afford daycare or they didn't find daycare or they didn't really want daycare. And you were usually probably around third or fourth grade is kind of when you started it and uh, you just had a key and then you walked home from school by yourself or in your group with your friends that were also going home in your neighborhood and you used your key to go inside the door you would actually I remember going going home opening the door and then the instructions were like my, and my mom it was like call call me at work uh -oh. we might have intruders Anyway, I'm rambling right now. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to shut up. Anyway, Latchkey Kid. We were very young, 9, 10 years old. Went home, turned on the TV, watched a lot of Channel 6. I didn't have cable growing up, but that's where all the TV stuff comes from. Where you at? There you are. Okay, Harry. Harry's learning some tricks. Okay, Harry, can you sit up? Oh, sit up. I'm trying to get him to sit up. Good boy! Oh, you get a big one for that. What a good dog! <laughs> He's doing good. We are tent camping in the moon yet? Can I see any moons? Alright. So Wally hears something. What do you see, buddy? A big old bear comes flying at us. You get him. No moon yet. That's kind of cool. I don't know if the GoPro picked that up or not. But that is the sun still going down over the horizon. Check out our camp. That's cool. Through the tent. What? You guys want to see how far we got on our Miller High Life? About halfway. You guys realize that's the champagne of beers. Just when you forgot about Miller High Life. We're kind of, we're kind of. What kind of light beer do you guys like? Anybody ever drink like Schlitz? Is that still around? Is ham still around? I went to Canada. I know you all, you Canadian guys out there. Molson? Molson Golden? I like me a Molson. Haven't had one in a while. Haven't been to Canada in a while, eh? I think I need to go. Speaking of that, the temperature is... It's 60 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> you guys getting hungry? You guys feel like cooking a, a hot link? An old fa I got old fashioned hot dogs. You guys ready for the old fashioned? Something about tent camping. Spicy peanuts. Make sure the spicy peanuts don't get mixed up with the dog treats. Spicy peanuts, dog treats. Good boy, that footy down is gonna get a little more, a little more dangerous. Is the full moon out yet, Harry? Wally, the full moon out yet? Nope. Okay. Whew. Whoa. All right. So the moon showed up. The moon has showed up. And um, 
Yeah. Let's, uh, jeez. See that big old light right in the middle? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hand in front of it. I'm gonna put my hand away from it. In front of it, away from it. That's the moon. That is it. You see me? Here I am. Ugh. You see me? Here I am. Wow. <laughs> We're trying to get footage of our, of the August super and blue moon. Okay. So let's see what we got. Okay. That does not want to come in. Oh, because I can't zoom. Shoot. Should have probably used a different thing. Full moon's in the house. What about GoPro? GoPro's got it far away. All right, let's redirect our 50 mil is just not gonna work. It's okay, it's too bright, huh? Well, maybe we could stop it down, let's see. Okay, well, learning curve. Well, hey, <laughs> you guys doing okay? Okay, that's what we got, we need a new light. Actually, GoPro, start recording. Okay, that's recording. <laughs> Sorry, but it's gonna be a while. Okay. Oh, I didn't get my cutting board out. It's a comedy of errors today. That's all right, we'll get it figured out. Anyway, can you see me? A little bit. Full moon is out. We're getting a little hungry. And since we, and if you guys are still with us, we're tent camping. See the tent? Looks pretty good, right? So what we're gonna do is grab our cutting board. And what we're cooking tonight is, I got some old fashioned hot dogs because I love a hot dog. They're just the best. Wait a minute, where's my 40 at? How are we doing on the 40? Or the 32? How's it look? Getting down. All right. Oh, I forgot to pour some out for me homies. For everybody that's camping in a different place. What we're doing is hot dogs with this. Ghost pepper mustard. We're going spicy today, guys. And I have hot links too. So I got lots of cold cheap beer. So it should be good. Well, by the way, if you like this sort of thing, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. If you're still watching this madness, and I don't know why you are, but thank you for showing up and hanging out with me. Also, what I wanted to put on this, we're gonna put jalapenos, sliced. I gotta do a little bit of relish just to cool off. These are gonna be bomb. And then here's the money maker. I got some pre-cooked bacon. I'm all into this pre-cooked bacon stuff because one of my favorite hobbies, and I don't know about you guys, but if you're ever just hanging out, and you got some bacon to cook, or if you get bacon on sale, you might as well cook the bacon. Then vacuum seal it. Okay, this video is getting too long. So that's it. We're gonna put all that stuff on a hot dog. And if this mustard sucks, I brought backup. I brought Glidden's Hot and Spicy. And did I bring the yellow? Nope, that's okay. We got the bread, we got French, excuse me, this isn't Glidden's, this is French's. Sorry to French's. So I got one old fashioned. And two old fat. I'm gonna do one for Wally and Harry. And then that's where we're gonna put on the old barbecue. We'll see how that goes. What do you think, buddy? You into this? Pre cooked bacon. I got my little funky grill, and we're just gonna put some pre cooked bacon right here to warm it up. And since it's pre cooked, you can't really mess that up. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think? Let's get these cooked. Yeah, you want a hot dog too? Do you hot dogs? GoPro, start recording. You hot dog guy? The moon's pretty bright, but you can't tell because of my setup that I got going on right now. That's all right, let's get these going. Oh, where's our 40? We're 32. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, it's perfect, man. I love camping. All right, we have a little, got a little issue. The bacon is turning out perfect. Look at that. Let's get all burly here. Okay, hang on. Yes. It's hot. What did you coo? Bacon vision. It's going on the dogs. Harry, watch out, that's hot. Ooh. All right, let's get these dogs going. 
I know it can kind of be redundant when you cook the same thing over and over again, but is it really redundant if you put different toppings on it? Boy, can you give me a beer? All right, I hope you guys can see this. Here are the dogs. Look at that. Look at that. So, that there. And then we're going to put this one as ours without burning ourselves too bad. Oh, jeez. Look at this guy. Oh, ooh, that's hot. That's hot. There we go. Okay, looking good. Hold on, let's do this. Let's do this. Now we got Wiener Vision. So, there's our pre cooked bacon. Grab the mustard. Shake it up. Ooh. I don't know if they would be able to call this must. Oh, it's hot. Give him that. Whew. Okay. Oh yeah, no, that is that's got some warm dough. Okay. Then we're gonna put bacon here. <laughs> you know what I want to do? We we got a little bit of it left. We got a little bit of it. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a never-ending bottle of Easy Cheese. It showed up again. The weight is barely anything. It's got to, We just got to get rid of the nub. There, we'll give that to Wally. Here you go, Wally. And we're going to put a little bit on there. Why not? <laughs> okay. Just look at that. Easy Cheese. It's There's nothing left. A little bit. Okay. Now, jalapenos. And I don't have a fork. Ooh. Hold on. Nobody move. Nobody move. He's getting serious now. All right. Can you believe that we're building this? Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Let's just use the tongs. We want to get a couple jalapenos in there. A couple big daddies. One. Two. Three. Okay, so I got jalapeno. Oh, just to cool it down. Sweet pickle relish. That green on there. This, to me, looks pretty good. All right. Look at that. Look at this. Okay. Old fashioned jalapeno, ghost pepper mustard, although it's red. Do we need to put regular mustard on it? Let's just try it like this. Let's try it like this. We can always try another one. All right. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Stay. That's it. Good job. Uh. Excuse me. All right. Okay. Okay. We're out. We drank all the 40 or the 32. So it's time to reload. Hope everybody, I hope you guys are still with us. If you guys are still with me. All right, so check us out. We'll just call this the full moon dog. See if it's any good. Oh my God. The, the ghost pepper mustard is, is hot. It's not that hot. That was hot. <coughs> okay, that was good. Hold on, let's... Yeah, that hit you. That hit you a little bit. <clears throat> not terribly, terribly spicy, but I have a pretty good tolerance to heat. I like spicy stuff. Probably sit there too hot. Hey, 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 no, no. Just hit. You gotta wait for yours. All right. No, this isn't bad. Would the, is the bacon on the hot dog okay? The bacon on a hot dog is okay. Like a Sonoran dog. You need a headlamp. You need your own headlamp. You know what? This is good, but honestly, hanging out here with my dogs. Hi. Hanging out here with my, my dogs. You don't really need to put all this stuff on a hot dog. <clears throat> it is good. It's kind of fun to do. I like to try it. If I had people here that were camping with me, then maybe I can get them to try it. It is tasty, but a good old, just regular old, old fashioned hot dog with uh, you know, some mustard on it would do me just fine. But this actually is pretty much hitting the spot, especially after those, what's 32 ounces? Do they have ounces? What's ounces in Canada, in, in Canadian? Do they have that? Do they do like Celsius with ounces? It's like bushels? Or no, it's probably milliliters. It's liters. Duh. Are you drooling? Probably, well, I got to fix Wally his hot dog. So I'm going to finish this. Stop my dog from drooling. 
And I don't mean to bore you guys to death, but. Yeah, gotta cut it backwards so you can see. Let's hook them up. Let's put some bacon in there for them. Huh. Okay. Hi, dogs. The game. There. Pretty good. Now, if you guys are servers, how many plates can you carry? I can carry four. Got you little monsters. Look out for scorpions. You go, Harry. So I'm gonna finish drinking this beer here. We're gonna clean up camp. And then I'm probably gonna go for a little mini night hike. Bring the GoPro with me uh, to see if we see any creatures. It was, I forgot how long ago it was, but I was down on a, anyway, I was kind of, I was pretty far away from where I am now down in one of my other favorite spots, and I saw a scorpion. I had no idea there were scorpions in in the Sierra, but apparently there are two different types of scorpions. So we're gonna go and see if we see any little creatures um, after I get camp cleaned up. So stick for that, and then we'll probably uh, get in the bed and uh, hang out in our giant Taj Mahal tent. Anyway, that sounds like a plane. That's my tent, that's my truck. Can you tell? And that's me. Well, uh, I should have put the, hold on, go like this. Ah! <laughs> Out here doing a little micro hiking. So a couple of years ago, um, a, friend I was, a friend I was working with at the state parks, we were doing a summer learning program for, you know, students for during summer. And, oh, here we go. And, we would take these students that would and would take them on little hikes. And we did like this one thing where you don't need to go on these big hikes, but they call them micro hikes. What is this? It's a nine mil, no, this is a 40 cal. I don't have my glasses on. Nine millimeter. People aren't supposed to be shooting guns here. We'll take this with us. But micro hikes are fun because we're basically just hanging out. And what we would do with this, what we would do with the students is we would actually kind of go off in the forest where there's like a little forest floor here, and then we would put a hula hoop down, and the hula hoop's what, a few feet in diameter, and the kids would have to sit and look inside the circle on the ground and discover what they see. It's a little micro hike here, guys. What do we see? We see uh, granite rock. We see. We got an ant, got an ant's house. There's a, this is cool, that's, that's an oak tree that's growing, that's tiny. What else we got? Maybe we can find some other critters on our micro hike. So I encourage everybody out there that's a lot older than fourth graders <laughs> to go out and go micro hiking, cause it's fun. What is this? Drop my beer. You better put my beer down and figure out what this is. What is that? Oh, it's uh. Oh, these are earplugs. Oh, probably for the guy that was shooting the guns. Yeah, now I gotta wash my hands. Look at this. Oh, there's lots of bugs in here. You know what this is? Ugh. Well, one, it's target practice for somebody. But this. That was an old... <laughs> oh, God, there's bugs everywhere. I just <laughs> inhaled one. Okay. That is a old Coleman... It's for one of those old pump stoves. Look at that thing. Should we hike it out of here? I think we should. Is that a beetle? A little tiny one. Oh, God, there's bugs over here. Okay. Now we're, now we're getting into the creepy crawlies. Oh God. Oh look, he ran in a hole. Huh. Okay, we don't want to get bit. Well, I mean, if, if we did get bit by a spider, we better come out with spider powers. You're such a good boy, Harry. All right, so here's our, we got that. Oh, jeez. Got some shells. Like beaver cleaver with shit in my pockets. Uh, I guess this is 
I don't have my glasses on. What time is it? It's almost 11. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man, I love that. So that's so much fun. Oh. Ah, jeez. Oh, later. It's pretty late, but I am having a blast right now. It is 50. Oh. Probably because it's it's cool. It's not hot. I'm over summer. I don't know about you guys. I don't know what part of the country or what country you guys are from, but <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Wally, are you trying to sit in the dog bed? <laughs> you don't fit in the dog. Your other dog bed's over there, dude. You want me to move it? <laughs> There it is. Hi Harry, how are you? Oh, all right guys, so it is it is the witching hour. I'm gonna hang out for a little bit longer, clean up the camp, finish my last beer, and then we're gonna crawl in the Taj Mahal tent, and we will see you guys in the tent. We got the BB, the BB gun, just in case. So, <laughs> how about this, guys? Tent camping, what do you think? This is a big ass tent, man. It's like 10 feet by 10 feet. Maybe nine and a half by nine and a half. Not quite 10. I don't know if you can see Wally. He's right here. Oh boy. <laughs> he already found his comfy spot. I got my little end table right here. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the morning. So I'm gonna show all these lights off and then hopefully we'll be able to see the, well I know I'll be able to see the, the moon and stars and yeah, what a fun day, what a fun camp. Thanks for coming along with me this far. S see how many of you guys are gonna wake up with me tomorrow because we're gonna make a breakfast burrito for the road, a road burrito. Good night. Good morning. It's early, six o'clock. We wake up so early for. Ah, tent life. Look at this. Huh. All right. Look at that, huh? Let's whip up a real quick road burrito for the road home. And this is my new batch. This is the linguisa, potatoes, and bacon. Everything in here is pre-cooked. So we're just basically heating it up, adding some eggs, wrapping it up with some cheese and a tortilla. Just take a second. It's not Cholula, it's Tapatio in a Cholula bottle. Get our tortilla warm. All right, let's bring you guys over here for the building of the burrito. Pending road burrito. Okay, one burrito for the road, guys. Look at that. There it is. We got our food container, gogurt, bunch of shell casings, 
and some nasty earplugs. Take that with us, take that with us. And then take this thing with us. Get this out of the forest, right? The old Coleman target practice. Good, good guys. This looks like a mess. Oh boy. All right, the sun is upon us. It is still early. We got the road burrito for the road. I got my coffee, which is way incredibly too hot to drink. I want to thank you guys very much for hanging around with me, enjoying that Miller High Life, and enjoying the tent life. We're going to get things all cleaned up. So if you can, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you want to, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Miller's made the American way, born and brewed in the USA. We are proud for the people who are making it today. Miller's made the American way.